Hey, welcome back. Last time we were out here in the metal shop, I was teaching Alex three basic MIG welding techniques for home and garden. Today I'm excited to be working on our newest kit. It's a simple movers dolly. And the great thing about this kit is it's the perfect project for you to learn the three fundamental joints for any do-it-yourself welding project. All right, so now that we've got all these parts prepped, the first thing we're gonna do, Alex, is cap the ends on the exposed tube, two longer pieces. And for that, we're gonna be using what's called a corner joint. I think you can see here why it's called that. It's where two pieces come together to form this corner. And just like with all DIY welding projects, you wanna start by tack welding all your parts in place. That looks real good. And the idea here is you get all four corners so you keep that piece from moving. We'll do the same thing down here in a minute. So let's go ahead and weld these off. This is just a continuous weld right down the side. Allow the pool to form, working the molten metal between the two pieces in a continuous looping motion. That looks pretty good, Alex. So we'll just give these a few minutes to cool off, then we'll get over there and clean up these welds and tack these cross members in place. Grind the weld off layer by layer to achieve a smooth and flush corner. And for these cross members, we're going to tack them in place and then weld up this T-joint. And for that, we're going to use one of these welder's magnets. It's set up at a perfect 90 degree. For each T-joint, tack just inside the corners on both sides, making sure each piece stays flush. Now that I've got these T-joints tacked into place, it's time to weld them off. You want to achieve a continuous solid weld around all four sides of each T-joint. Man, you're already doing that like a pro, Alex. I'll tell you what. Next, let's put on these wheels. For this, you may be tempted to do a plug weld. You weld the hole of one piece over the top of the other. But for this project, we're going to do a lap joint right along this edge, just in case we ever want to cut these wheels off. Similar to a plug weld, a lap joint is where you weld one piece over the top of another. Well there you go, that's three basic joints for any do-it-yourself welding project. We've got our corner joint, we've got our T-joints, and our lap joints. I appreciate you watching this video. If you like the work we're doing here on my YouTube channel, be sure to go to my homepage and click support. Every contribution is helpful. And if you're just getting started MIG welding, be sure to come see me over at Help Bounce by Google. And be sure to come over to MitchellDillman.com and check out our pre-cut DIY welding kits. 